Yo, what's going on guys? Trey from TH Customs, doing another episode of What's in the Box. Uh, got a Tackle Warehouse order in, and uh, got some cool stuff. I've been waiting to see some of this stuff. Not gonna do some crazy freaking cutting the box open with a hatchet or anything like that. Dude, we're just gonna open the box. I wanna see what's inside the box. Tackle Warehouse shirt, another one. Couple products, uh, I had to reorder. Um, got some more bait sacks. Got the large one in because I need one for my swim baits. Um, got four small ones. I'm actually uh, giving away one of these here soon. Um, we're gonna do a, a giveaway on our Facebook page. Um, check it out, it's TH Real Tuning and Cleaning LLC. We're gonna give away a bait sack along with some other, uh, some cool stuff that we have in the shop. Um, if you haven't seen these, um, they're awesome little, I don't even know, little accessories. Um, it keeps your baits from getting tangled and snagging, especially if you own a boat. Um, it's kind of nice, you just press them, open them up, throw your bait in here, and you're good to go. Um, Neat little accessory though, um, comes with two different sizes for your rods, you know, a, like a smaller and a little bit larger size. Um, I just needed them for some crankbaits, jigs, um, swim baits, stuff like that. Uh, a couple more things I got, I had to restock on some culprits, 10 inch, red shad, worms, awesome worms, went through a couple packs the last uh, week or so. Um, so I had to order some more to restock. Um, what else I had to restock on? Had to get some more Jackal Chunk Cross in the four inch size. Um, I've been flipping a ton of these, so I've been going through bags um, up north and I'm headed back up north soon, so I need some more bags of those. Um, pretty awesome baits, the Jackal Punch Cross. Um, to go along with those, uh, I ordered some more tungsten weights from Vike. Great price on tungstens. Um, th this is a half ounce, and then these are three quarter ounce. Um, I'm using these with the uh, the flipping baits and my ten inch worms. Uh, a little bit deeper water and a little bit quicker fall in the summertime. Um, these are priced reasonably well for a flipping bait for tungsten weights. Um, tungsten is the only way to go. I've used tungsten for probably 10 years. I haven't used lead in a long time. Um, great baits. Great weights. All right. Got some power pole line. Just respawn. I got 20 pound and 30 pound. Um, great braid using that for more like finesse stuff. Couple baits that I've been waiting to get for a while from two companies. Um, we can start off with this. You guys probably saw this at iCast. It is the double plopper. Man, this thing looks killer. I saw it at iCast. It looked awesome there. Had to grab one. It's getting to be fall. Um, it's that time of year. Can't wait to throw this thing. Nasty hook. Here is the double plopper buzz bait. It's a floating buzz bait. I got the bone color. Um, I might actually paint it. See if I can. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad though. But man, this thing's pretty light, really, for the size. Um, I might take it out tomorrow and see how it works. But there is the double plopper. From river to sea, killer looking bait. Alright, so another bait that I've been looking at, I've had samples and prototypes of, I've had blanks from this company. It is from Dual Realis. It is their Shinmushi Topwater. Looks like a cicada. It's a cool, cool looking bait. And it looks even better from the ones that I got a hold of. Man, it's a neat, neat freaking bait. 
So this is the Shin Mushi. It's got two treble hooks on it. It's got the two wings here. Looks like it's got skirt material here. And from what I know, you can actually pull the, the top and the bottom of the body apart and add these skirt material if you need to. Um, if they get torn up, you can just add skirt material to it, change colors wherever you want. Um, it's kind of like a jitterbug style. Um, it, it more like wobbles side to side. Uh, this is a perfect size though for those. Man, this is a killer looking little bait. Um, I got, I don't even want to try and name, the hooks are really sharp. Uh, the, the colors of these. I, I don't even know that color. <laughs> I got a, I got a white color as well. And then I went with more of like our cicada colors that we have here, the beetles, June bugs, whatever. Um, these are gonna be awesome. Dude, this is gonna kill in the summertime. When you get those beetle hatches, uh, one of our big lakes, Lake of the Ozarks, had a giant beetle hatch this summer. That's a killer looking bait. This is a Duo Realis Shin Mushi topwater bait. I will probably actually throw it this weekend or maybe tomorrow and see how it works. But man, that's a neat little bait. Do a Realis and Mushi. If you see on the back, you can actually change out the skirt and the wing. That is a neat, neat bait. Gotta put these on the rods right now. But I will be giving one of these away, so stay tuned for that. Uh, you know, killer baits. This is gonna be a killer bait as well. Can't wait to throw this and see how it does. Give you guys a review on this, and I'll give you guys a review on that duo Shinmushi. It's a pretty neat bait as well. Big packaging. But that's it guys, uh, that's what's in the box. Um, you know, just some general stuff, nothing major. Um, I've got some more stuff possibly coming, so check us out guys, thcustoms.com, uh, Facebook, Instagram, like and subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Um, you know, let us know what you guys wanna see. If you guys wanna see some more unboxings, if you wanna see some more of that like vlog stuff, um, hit us up, put us down at the comment section below. Let me know what you guys want to see, and uh, you guys take care. Fish on, guys.